go. I like the Flatinta? I suppose some introductions are in order. Introductions. You with the book. That is not helpful. Sebastian, my man. Can I help you? Oh, you're the new fifth year. Yeah. I'm Sebastian Sallow. Welcome to Slytherin. Thank you. Not everyone has a ministry escort to school. He was a friend of Professor Figs, who merely joined us for the ride. Still, impressive. Dreadful way to go, poor fellow. How do you know about that? Glad you and Fig are all right. It was terrifying. Professor Fig and I were lucky to escape with our lives. Indeed. And how did you escape? It's all still a bit of a blur, to be honest. Didn't mean to press. You just get yourself settled. We can talk more later. Mm, what are you reading? I got a curiosity. What book were you reading? A spell book I picked up. Has a few interesting things, but not exactly what I was looking for. I'm sure you'll find out soon enough. But not every spell you may need can be found in our assigned textbooks. Yeah, you mean the forbidden section, are huh? Are you saying some spells aren't taught at Hogwarts? Which ones? Seems I may have met a kindred spirit. <laughs> that is a conversation for another time. It was good meeting you. Good luck today. Curiosity sucks. Yo, are we underwater? Yo. Okay, who are you? Ah, uh, yeah, ominous. I, I think I heard one. Hmm. Doubt mermaids find us that interesting. Ah, based on all the chatter when you entered the common room, I'm guessing you're the new fifth year. I'm ominous, ominous gaunt. Nice to meet you, ominous. Well, you certainly had a memorable arrival. I do like to make an entrance. Well, if I'm going to make my mark here, I had to start right away. <laughs> You're definitely in the right house. Do let me know if I can be of any help as you navigate your first days here, though I doubt you'll need it. Did you suspect being Slytherin? The mer mermaids often appear outside the common Did room. Did that student say he thought he heard a mermaid? <laughs> yes. But I've never heard of a mermaid showing up outside our common room window. It is fun to play along, though. Been known to keep some first years on the lookout for hours. Nice to meet you. Thank you, Ominous. Very nice to meet you. Pleasure was all mine. Don't be a stranger. Oh, uh, we'll be a stranger. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Media? I don't, I don't know how to say that name. Ugh, not going to move there, are you? Here, watch this. Don't say I didn't warn you. Checkmate. Told you. I. You should have listened to me. Ah, oh, I know who you are. You're the new Slytherin, the one who barged in with Professor Fig last night. Interesting tactic on your first day, taking all the attention away Is from the first Fig years. popular or something? I'm Imelda, by the way. Shame Melda. I wasn't with you and Fig. I could have lured that dragon away. My skills in a broom are legendary. How do you all know about this? Perhaps Professor Fig's friend would have survived if we'd had your help. Precisely. Perhaps one of these days I'll show you a thing or two about flying. I can teach you more than Kagawa ever could. Speaking of which, I'd like to get in some time on my broom before classes. Oh yeah, she's the one that likes to race, ain't she? Seem to know a lot about wizard chess that you fly a Do lot. Do you have a lot of time to fly during school? I make the time. There's nothing like swerving through the spires of the castle and around the Quidditch pitch to clear the mind. Oh, farewell, bye. Goodbye, Imelda. Nice meeting you. All right. Is the fifth year Slytherin in here? Uh... Professor Weasley is waiting for you just by the stairs. Yeah, that's cool, what? Okay, anyways. 
Oh, this game is so beautiful. My Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts. Yeah, but what are you I've doing been in here? I've dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Yeah, what's that? Ooh, a book? I Here want a book. <gasps> it has paper in it. Oh my God. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Resource? Not a resource, but a resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. Okay, more walking. This way. I was always in trouble, I was. Always looking what is that? I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Go. That's cool. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding law. Do yes. keep up. Why don't <laughs> you cast Revelio on Revelio. Yeah, got it. Got it. Good guide. Awesome. Kelpie statue. The statue depicts the Kelpie, a shape-shifting water demon native to Ireland and Great Britain, which usually takes the form of a long maned horse, the largest kelp I ever reported in Loch Ness Monster in Scotland. They actually put a lot of detail in that, huh? Bill Guide Channel, okay. Oh, escape. Okay, continue. Challenges. I'm. I really gotta look at the challenge. Yes, I do. Okay. Continue. Exit field guide. Thank you. Wow, that was amazing, Professor. You taught me so much. Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that inside and outside of the castle. Can we run? Where are we going? I think this is how they get you to break in the first couple of hours on Steam. Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Mm-hmm, okay. Hmm. Central Hall, continue. Ah. Uh, uh where we were okay return wait no what am i doing stop it intro hall there we go and here we are oh uh, you're saver. already here these stairs lead directly to central hall that's cool. Let me activate I think that one. Get enough of the castle. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Quickly, huh? Okay. Ooh. Fine paper. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive, our King's Cross Station, so to speak. 
That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. Okay, thank you. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Ah, yes, the, uh, the supplies. What's Hogsmeade? Ah, we know what that is. What exactly is Defense Against the Dark? Nah, we're good. Thank we you, got Professor this. Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments yeah. for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. Yeah. He's been he, he terribly taught me how to do Revelio and to turn my wand into a light. Specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. Why do y'all keep bringing that up? My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. Did he just spawn in? <laughs> Wait, okay, anyway, suspicion that there's more to the story than search for the belong. Yeah, I'm afraid there isn't. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. I'll still to be hush-hush well, about it. precisely what Professor Fig said. Speaking of, of the devil, Professor Fig, your ears must have been burning. Oh, yes, you seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spell casting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Yeah, hmm. ancient magic. Yeah. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It yes, will be ma invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't Come get on, you Come on, I want some spells! I want some spells! Who do you want, Fig? It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival? Yes, you did. I did my best, but I'm fairly certain she suspects that we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards mm. to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. Yes, yes, give. Give, 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 give. Ah, represents main quest. Uh huh. Yep, got it. Track quest. Oh uh, well. Defense against dark arts. Charms class. Let's go with Accio first. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead. What with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, mm. focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Okay, thank you. 
And uh, I guess we go upstairs. Let's complete. Welcome to Hogwarts. Wait, this way? these excuse me hmm that don't look right <laughs> oh I can actually run faster oh I got so used to walking Oh, I guess I keep going up. Oh, there's so much to look at. Again. When you're like mid play, it's kind of like stale, but the beginning is all hyper focused again. Here. Behind you. There is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Hi, Nettie. I hate Have you. you. Not Professor Ronan yet. <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to Year Five of Charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work. But I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Huh. Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Mm. Uh, 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 I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing oblivion on one another. <laughs> uh, Jug sucks, dude. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well, no, I mean, you it try. Seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> that was horrible. Anyways. Akio. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. I can't Keep practice my eyebrows. <laughs> might here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me! <sighs> I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree, hmm? <laughs> so... What better than a Back bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? We're told there's no quidditch, but yet you're gonna mention it? Oh, that hurts. <laughs> yeah. So why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? No, yeah, okay, I'll go first. That way we can skip everybody else in the process. Very simply, uh, cast Akio on one of the spheres, and the... That's it! 
Okay, okay. Now, uh, think of this like godstones. Very good. Ah. Excellent. Uh, good there. there we go. Very good. Points to Almost slithering. perfect. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. Onai? You'll be the blues I just hate as you. before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Oh, you're going first. Yes, okay. Sir. No! Can I make her lose her ball? I'm, I'm gonna try to pull her ball out. Oh. Ah. Okay, I lost mine. <laughs> Brutal. Please let me get that one. I want to get that one. Give me that one. Okay. Dang it. That's it. What's this? I need to hit her ball off or I won't come in first. Uh. Ugh. Ah. I am the winter. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? No. Wait, did he just add puzzles to it? I can't remember. Ah, yeah, he did. <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Hey, enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. I'm okay with that. I'm that okay with that. Done. See? I thought I was okay with that. Got it. I got it. Barely. I make more of her balls fall off? <laughs> that sounded funny. Lude. I just gave her points. Ah! Mm, I'm upset. I gave her points. Uh, last effort to uh, try to knock something off. Please fall, please fall, please fall, please fall. Excellent control there. Did we get a tie? No. I, get, I think it came first. Or a tie. Was that first a tie? What was the point? I don't know Both what the points were. Well done. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. A tie game. Oh, it was tied. It turns out we were evenly matched. Took me weeks to become proficient with. You, you sucked. I, Took I assisted. Weeks for okay. To get anything right when I transferred here. We're trying to take credit. Yeah, I promise. I helped you a lot. Thank you, but I've been holding my own. Yeah, exactly. I appreciate your confidence. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Nice me, don't care. Well, it's been nice talking and competing with you. And with you. Ah, 
I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until yeah, he's like time. over there mean mugging me too. Of course, you can. A word, your... if you would. You it wanted to stuff. speak with me, Professor. I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? And what a close match between you and Miss Onai. Ugh. Invigorating. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. Oh? <laughs> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Okay, what Expect else you got to me? hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. You just gave it to me now. I would have handled it. I see flu flames on the map. After Where my mother learned the summoning charm, it was constant Accio this, Accio that, cutlery flying everywhere. Okay, bye. Quite unsafe, really. Hello there. Hello. You're the new student, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, that's me. Hello. You wanted to speak to me. Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first you day's going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. It wasn't too challenging. Thank you, but it really wasn't all that challenging. My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be a bit overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I find Professor Ronan's lessons a bit more challenging than you do. Are we just making friends here? Like, you didn't really tell me anything. Okay, I guess I gotta go to, uh, Dark Arts. Yeah, that's what it was. Right? Yeah. Downstairs. What would I do without a guide? Oh man, imagine. No field guide. Lost. All day. All right, gotta go this way. No, I hate that. <laughs> Game is struggling right now. Okay, frames are back. I had to run downstairs so I can run upstairs. What? Keep your eyeballs. Hey, straight into it, huh? Is that all you've got? Come on. Professor Hackett! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, Basically, she just didn't care about them if something like was to happen to them, but she cares more about the, the skull. Huh. ring in Eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity. Especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned. Starting with something small. What, we're doing Livioso? Ah, okay. Got it. Levioso.
Wow, it levitated a feather. Now, let's try something a little larger. Heavier. I like how the dummy has a face Let guard on his face. With a basic cast. Okay, how, how basic? We just talk about regular. There we go. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first. Okay. Then let me let me do it. Cast. Let me do it. Let Remember, me do it. Yes. Yeah, there we go. Now the basic cast. Well done. Yeah, I killed that dummy. Very good. But the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelist Girl, is your head okay? Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Come on, Sebastian. This should be easy. Come on, Sebastian. Protego, stupid. Come on. Levioso. Good I know. Come on, Sebastian. Come on, Sebastian. Okay, there you go, Sebastian. Later. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> ah, he's just upset he lost. I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Slytherin. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. Why is there I an outline around her body? From my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. Okay, ma'am. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelwald. Anybody else seeing this? Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well, will. well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. Mm, I didn't like All your eyeballs. Right. That's enough spectrum for Monday. Class is dismissed. Give. Aberdeen Black Dragon Skeleton. Oh, well. Probably not a dragon, but whatever. Still a tough skeleton. When I mean, Yu-Gi-Oh has work. me like programmed to say black dragon or white dragon. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. Uh huh. It was certainly good practice. Practice. Felt more like I was dueling an expert. Didn't expect no, a new suck. student to be so deft with a wand. Then again. Perhaps this wasn't your first duel. It was never used by one in combat. I mean, I technically kind of did. I don't want to be a enough. liar. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Huh, fair enough. You owe me an honest duel when you aren't. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Oh, yeah? Sounds suspicious, but it's intriguing. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Mm, Look for glimmer. Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. I'm interested. Till next time. I want I want to know spells. I want to learn spells. I need the spells. Can we leave yet? Are we able to get out to the castle? I would like to get a broom as soon as possible. Revelio. Ah. 
fills our stout hearts with joy to be in the presence of such characters. Painting of Lilius. This painting depicts a young orphan wizard, Ilias, who famously saved the entire village from an army of dementors. Okay. Oh. Uh, I guess that's a that spell that Harry else. used. Thought you'd want to know. Forgot what it was called. Ah, here we are. Now, Weasley after class. And I get there from over here. Wait, I was nearby? What? The chances? What about the room, Professor? Oh, I love Deke. I was Deke. thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. Ah, I am. I trust your first classes went well? Yep. They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Oh, there's a lot. Have you and Professor Fig not discussed my training? He continues to be reticent about the details. Mentioning only a few spells. Revelio, was it? And Lumos? Yes. That's correct, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streamer. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Ooh, extra assignments, what? I'm not sure I have time for extra assignments, Professor. You shall find the time. You'd be astonished to know just how much you don't know. In fact, I don't know what I don't Professor know. Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Yes, please. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. Ah, oh, okay, that's cool. So, um, I don't need all this other information. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. Hmm, who's Natty again? Oh, Onai. Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't like Onai. Oh, I'll go with Sebastian. I'd like to go with Sebastian. Glad to hear it. Mr. Sallow is a capable young wizard, and he knows the area. He'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butter beer at the Three Broomsticks. Oh, heck yeah. A butter beer. Say no more. I actually want to try one of those. People have made them. Uh, speak to Professor Ronan to receive your first assignment. Yeah, ah, you, you would you coincidentally be here. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. 
A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Rapero in no time. All right. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Uh, my noise getting it working. There it goes. Now it's working. All right, Repero, he said. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Oh, flying page. Hmm. Flying. Oh, there it is. Accio. Got it. Oh. There we go. Yeah, I'm doing things. Love it. Love to see it. Back on a wall. Don't mind me. A flying page must be around here somewhere. Oh, I need another page. No, I will not help you. Why are you calling me out like that? I trust the preliminary tasks weren't. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Yes, I know Let my us way. Give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Ready. Remember. Oh, your wand not is ready. A conduit of your magic. Yeah, 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 yeah. conduit. Whatever. Got it. Repairo. I feel like it's a spell I'm hardly going to use, but you know, yes. That's it. Very good. Repairo. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue. Already in the done, sir. By the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps the guilty lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. <laughs> Okay, I fixed it, but there's no information about it. Wait, what was that? Where is it? That way? Ah, the, the fountain. Wyvern Fountain. This fountain is the transfigured or transfiguration courtyard it has a likeliness of a wyvern on top of on top and serves as a relaxing place for students to gather. Man, what you got there? Those jelly beans. 